Okay, can you see my screen there? Yep, I can. Perfect. Okay, so what I'm going to talk about is my experience with online proctoring as a learning technologist at the University of the West of Scotland. Uh, we did a pilot of software called Test Portal. And spoiler alert, the main lesson learned is how important trials are in online assessment. So just to give a brief context, um, I was made aware October last year of a PSRB requirement that a number of our programs and modules are subject to for at least one timed examination under invigilated conditions to be held per year. But obviously with the COVID context, how are we going to achieve that in line? What would have traditionally happened was everyone would have been hurled into a room, exam hall, the usual style. But of course, how are we going to achieve this in the wholly online context? And really, this situation um, involved and affected a number of key stakeholders and required a lot of team working, really a lot of input um, and, and ongoing feedback and support amongst academic staff, administrative staff, the students themselves, of course, and technologists, as well as, of course, the external providers to try and make this happen and enable us to remain compliant with the regulatory requirement. And let me tell you, it was a steep learning curve for everyone involved. Um, there was a lot of learning, unlearning and relearning in and around everything we thought we knew about assessment, online learning um, and technology. And the first thing that we really had to grapple with was what is proctoring? Now, the dictionary definition is overly simplistic. Apparently, it just means to invigilate an examination. However, when you try and apply that online, there the term proctoring is open to quite a bit of interpretation, and that can include one or indeed all of, of the following. So is the exam timed? To what extent is the access to the exam secure? Is there an ID check of some sort? Is it recorded? Is there browser tracking involved? And even is there the use of artificial intelligence, facial detection to detect whether a, um, a test taker is looking away from their screen, potentially looking at their notes? And so having explored the options, I identified Test Portal as a um, suitable um, proctoring solution for our requirements. And the unique selling point, really, um, having explored the other options, is that there's no requirement on students to download software or engage in any administrative process that could potentially be a, a barrier to accessing their exam. So Test Portal works by monitoring browser movements. It's good but it's, it's not perfect. It's honest respondent technology is what they call it. It can be triggered by, for example, unintentionally leaving a test page or um, even adjusting volume. So an awful lot of support was required amongst staff and students. There was lots of meetings, webinars, uh, bespoke resources that had to be created for them. And the most important thing for the staff and indeed the, the and indeed the students was reassurance and exam day support. So uh, instructional videos to prepare them beforehand, um, guidelines around switching off their notifications, and indeed providing the students with trials. And this is, this is the crux of it really. The, the more trials or if you like mock exams that were given to the students, we found that there were fewer browser movements that you know inadvertently triggering the browser tracking software and certainly a lot less stress for everyone <laughs> involved. And a couple of key things kind of came out of the whole process. And one was uh, principles of writing for the web, which when applied, just make navigation and online assessment uh, just a much more comfortable process. And so applying those principles allowed us to adapt and indeed enhance um, the format of the exams and also streamline the processes around it. Just to give an idea, Test Portal does provide really sophisticated reports, which in turn can inform the design. Uh, so, for example, if you're finding that students are answering questions really, really quickly, perhaps it needs to be changed, adapted or made more difficult. Um, the browser reports that, that are shown, if you see there on the top right, number of times question page was left, there's also support um, that and, and training in and around interpreting those. So that one could just have been something that was inadvertently triggered. And it's important to keep that in mind when the results are, are provided. 
Students overall found the platform really intuitive, the trial extremely helpful and the supports provided. In fact, they wanted the trials to be available for longer. And some of the other feedback was to showcase all features in the demo. Uh, staff uh, noted the importance of support. Apparently my time's up, but I'm going to keep going. Noted the importance of support uh, and training and mentoring because it was such a steep learning curve. And the key thing that we wanted to achieve, you know, long term was to ensure quality in online assessment so that it's student centered, evidence based, trauma informed and indeed quality assured. And what I came up with, with was a 10 step workflow. Very briefly, just to run through it, the first five steps are all very much, you know, weeks before the actual exam date. So you'll have an initial consultation in or around the design of the exam. Uh, draft a trial, finalize the trials and supports, everyone trials the exam, all stakeholders, um, and then we have a troubleshoot and Q&A meeting to see what needs to be tidied up before drafting the exam proper, coordinating it, making sure all the right students have the right access, etc., and then providing uh, monitoring and support on the day and then providing the uh, the feedback. The upshot essentially is that design and pedagogy supersedes the technology and the functionality, no matter how fancy something is, or, you know, with, with technology, ultimately it is the, the design um, that's paramount. You can check out the UWS Test Portal blog on testportal.net, where um, I've, I, I give more or less a synopsis of the experience. And just in terms of final thoughts, there certainly is absolutely no perfect proctoring solution and that we, we need to keep our students at the heart of all TLA decisions. Sorry for going over time and Avril will tell you I'm notoriously terrible with time management, but I think I did okay. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Thank you very much, Tina.